RentEc Direct provides you a separate accounting ledger for tenant security deposits. This feature makes it easy to track security deposit charges and payments, as well as reconcile the deposit at the time the tenant moves out. Let's get started with charging and receiving a tenant security deposit. When moving a tenant into their new home, head to the Property tab and click on Place New Tenant. In step number two, verify the amount of security deposit you wish to charge your tenant. After completing the other fields, click on one of the Place Tenant buttons. When you are ready to post a security deposit payment, click on the Tenant tab, find your tenant using the filter provided, click on the standard ledger balance, and then click on the security deposit link. When in the deposit ledger, if you need to edit the amount due, use the pencil paper icon and click on the green disk to save your changes. To delete a charge completely, use the delete button. In the lower portion of the screen, you are presented with options surrounding the tenant security deposit. To add additional deposit charges, use the option of Increase Deposit Due and list the additional amount and any memo notes on the right. To receive a deposit payment, check the option on the left and fill in the relevant information on the right. If you are returning a security deposit in full, use the option Return Deposit and complete the fields on the right. Click the printer icon in the upper right to print a deposit ledger statement. If you will not be returning the entire security deposit to your tenant because they have unpaid charges, use the option Apply Deposit as Tenant Credit to move their deposit to their standard tenant ledger for final accounting. Once applied, the deposit increases the property's balance, the income category, as well as the property's associated income bank account. To edit any details of this transaction, edit the transaction in the tenant's standard ledger. To finalize your security deposit reconciliation, post any remaining charges in the standard tenant ledger. To refund any final credit remaining, head to the Property tab and post an expense. Be sure to link in the tenant to the transaction, select an expense category, and the bank you wish to pay the refund out of. To print out a detailed deposit reconciliation, use the Print Statement option in the Tenant menu. Don't forget to post any property expenses related to tenant turnover, such as paying a vendor for carpet cleaning, and do this through the Property tab. If you release security deposits to owners, first create a unique category under your Settings tab. Selecting an income category allows the transaction to be recorded in the cash-based financial reports. Selecting an other category will keep the transaction off of the cash-based financial reports. Next, head back to the Tenant Security Deposit Ledger. Use the Transfer Deposit option. Select the newly created income category the account the funds are currently held in, and any memo notes. This debit transaction will also credit the property ledger and the property's associated income bank account. To post an owner disbursement transaction, click on the Property tab, 
and then the red dollar sign. We recommend you add in a memo note indicating which tenant deposit was released. A couple side notes. If you need to delete an apply deposit as tenant credit or a transfer deposit to an owner transaction, there are two steps to take. To delete an apply deposit as tenant credit transaction, first edit the transaction and then click delete. Next, you will need to follow up by deleting the transaction that is posted in this tenant's standard ledger. If you need to delete a transfer deposit transaction, edit the transaction and click Delete. Follow up by deleting the transaction from the property ledger. You are able to post a tenant security deposit payment through the tenant's standard ledger. However, be careful to use the correct category of 100 security deposit. To view all security deposit charges and payments, view the renter report, current deposits B. Notice that any deposits not paid in full are highlighted red. To review this process in more detail, click Need Help and read through the help article titled Tenant Deposits. Please call or email our support team if you have any questions. We're here to help.